name is Lou Tilly, and I hope I know some of you because I've been a member here at Club La Maison for almost three decades. It's been a big part of my life, and I really missed it when things were shut down. And I was very happy to come back when we reopened. But I wonder if everyone is as comfortable, and that's when we decided to put together this little show. Welcome back to Club La Maison. Let me take you inside and meet some of the key people here, and maybe it'll make you feel a little better. I want you to meet the general manager, Paul Meshach. Paul Meshach is the general manager at Club La Maison. Thanks for joining us. What was your first and most immediate concern in reopening? Uh, the first immediate concern was definitely the, the safety of our members and our, and our staff. And what measures did you implement at the outset? Uh, a lot of measures taken. Number one, the indoor, uh, indoor air quality was, was very important to us as well as um, the social distancing and uh, the regular cleaning of the facility. Well, Paul, tell us about the air quality and what goes into regulating that to keep it safe, safe as possible for the membership. So there's a couple variables when it comes to air quality. Uh, number one is the volume in, of air in which you're able to move. And what we've found is our HVAC systems are able to move the air about six to eight times uh, per hour. So about every six to eight minutes, you're finding that uh, the atmosphere in here is completely changing. In addition to that, we're also adding in uh, fre fresh air, about 30% fresh air, every air exchange. So uh, in, in the interior of the building, the, the air volume and the quality of the air is, is constantly changing without you really knowing it's going on in the, in the background. Now, all of us have noticed coming back the extreme attention to cleanliness at the club, but what about those machines that we all hear and see all around the club? So um, one of the machines that we're using is, um, is, is an ozone generator. That ozone generator is um, it's used after hours, and it's uh, air purification uh, disinfectant that has been proven to uh, kill the, the SARS coronavirus. And while there's not a lot of studies done on it yet, it's reasonable to believe that because SARS is very similar to uh, COVID-19, that uh, the, the ozone would be effective in, in killing COVID-19 as well. So we have five uh, ozone generators that we're using after hours in the club, and that's um, disinfecting the air overnight so that when we reopen, um, the air quality is at its, at its uh, prime. We all know about the cleaning crew at the club, and they're extra special, but sure. has yeah. there been any special training on top of that? Have they even doubled down? Uh, absolutely, yes. We have uh, worked extensively to make sure that the club is as is, 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 uh, clean and, um, and as uh, safe as it could possibly be, as, as you can see here. <laughs> Paul, do you have any special data to share with us about your progress and attention to detail that you bring to the process? Sure, sure. Uh, so Club La Maison, we've been uh, participating in a, in a research project for uh, health clubs around the United States. And um, there's, a, there's about over 2,800 clubs, almost 2,900 clubs that are participating in this. And uh, the data suggests that um, we've logged over 49 million visits to health clubs since we've been able to reopen. And um, in those revisits, there has only been 0.002% of confirmed positive COVID cases. It's important to note that that doesn't mean that those infections came from within the club. That just means that someone that was in the club um, tested positive shortly after being in that facility. And in fact, in simple terms, the better condition that you are in personally, the better chance that you have of fighting it off anyway, right? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's, um, it's well known that uh, the more physical activity that you do, uh, the, the better your immune system is. And, um, you know, I think that, that that data suggests two things. One, that health clubs are taking the proper measures, and those measures are effective in controlling the spread. And I also believe that um, the more active you are, the better your immune system. Well, tell me what you would say to a member who hasn't been back yet, or maybe someone about to join, if they have any concerns. Uh, if, if you haven't come back yet, uh, what we're hearing is a lot of our members are really surprised with 
um, their perception of what it's like here versus their first experience here. So if you're a current member and you're considering coming back, um, I would urge you to, to stop in and, and check it out. We realize that everyone has uh, different concerns and everyone has a different lens they're seeing this through, but we also want to make sure that um, we're, your, we're here for your uh, health and well-being. Uh, for a new member, uh, I can assure you that um, this club isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Um, we're really proud of our, our rich history of uh, serving the main line since 1983, and um, we plan on doing that for the years to come. And um, we, we'd love to invite you in to, to be a part of our fitness family. Well, Paul, thanks for joining us. And we're going to take some time now to talk to some actual members here at Club La Maison, along with some of your excellent staff as well. But thank you for joining us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Right now, let's talk with Natalia Donahue and Logan Young. They're kind of like the ambassadors of Club La Maison. Natalie and Logan, good to see you again. If I'm just coming back for the first time in months, let's say, to the club, what's the first thing that I would notice as I come right through the front door? Well, Lou, the first thing you're going to notice when you're walking into the club is that we actually have nanoseptic wrapping on the handlebars of the door. So that surface ensures that the door stay as clean as possible. When you first come in, the first thing you see, the first place you go is the front desk. And what's that procedure like now when you check in? So at the front desk, we've actually gone completely touchless. If you were at the club before this whole thing happened, you remember we would take your keys or whatever you had your little scan card on and we would scan it for you. That is no longer. So you can scan in yourself and that eliminates us touching any of your belongings. Well, the club has always been pretty well spaced out even during normal times, but what special precautions are you taking, say, in the cardio areas now to make people feel safe and secure? Well, for the most part, Lou, there are ribbons cutting off cardio equipment that's right next to each other, so you don't have to be worried about being next to someone else. We also do have spray bottles and antiseptic wipes scattered throughout the club. You just pick one up, use it to wipe off the equipment when you're done, and you should be good to go. And of course, the cleaning crew ever present here at Club Law, my son. Have you been doubling down with your efforts with that? The cleaning crew, as usual, is doing an amazing job, even more so now with all the extra precautions. They're here every couple hours, every day, and they work so hard to keep everything safe. Now, let's say I'm in the weightlifting areas and I'm going from machine to machine. There's got to be a lot of traffic there. What kind of precautions are you taking in those areas? Number one, you need to keep your mask on. The weight room is where we have a lot of confusion with the masks because you're not breathing as heavily usually when you're using weights. So in that situation, your mask needs to stay on. And also, as with everywhere you go nowadays, try to keep a six foot distance in as many situations as possible. And you know, we all know that the cleaning crew is everywhere. They always have been, but even more so now. But what do you tell the members themselves to do? You know, like self-policing. Well, for the most part, Lou, we ask members to clean up after themselves. What this means is that when you, before and after using equipment, there are antiseptic uh, cloths to wipe down the machines, and there are also sprays and rags that we ask members to use, like I said, before and after each use of the equipment. Matt, what is the noise in the background there? What's going on there? Very fancy name for it. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm pretty sure it is a super powerful sanitizer all over the place, all the time. Well, that thing has a very fancy name that I don't know, but pretty much it sprays super powerful sanitizer all over the place. And we use it after every cycling class, you'll see the housekeeping crew doing it, and just the cleanup in general, like you see behind me. Are we still at the stage when people come in that you have to put their minds at ease right off the bat? Well, for the most part, if you're comfortable coming back to the gym, most people kind of already have an idea of what to expect. But if they have questions, we always are free to answer them. The most being about the mask. All right, well, thank you both for taking the time to talk with us today. Mask up again and get back to the job, and we'll talk with you soon. Thanks, right. Thanks Lou. Lou. Let's move on to another section now, and it's very important in health clubs today, and welcome two ambassadors for personal training. That's Nathan and Jackie, and tell us about the special care and precautions that you're taking in this area. Sure, yeah, so our role um, for every member in the club is to make sure that they have the best experience they can here. Whether it's from somebody who's still looking to join and isn't sure what to do in the gym, to somebody who's been here for a long time, Nate and I are here to make sure that everybody gets equal 
attention and make sure that they understand that we are here to help them in any way, whether it's personal training, group fitness, showing them different equipment, a lot of stuff like that. Yeah, so basically we kind of act as just ambassadors to the club. We tell them everything that's great about the club. We help them out um, in getting to their goals and we just make sure that their overall experience is a pleasant one. Nate, have you changed the routine with members that are coming back since the reopening? Well, we do have a lot more uh, options in terms of personal training. It used to be that you were either private or you were semi-private and you would train in, inside. Now we have a lot more options. We understand that everyone has different comfortability levels with COVID. So we have options of training virtually for people who are really uncertain about coming inside. We can train outside. We can train in the old spin room. Um, and we can just do regular old personal training like we always did. Basically, whatever you want to do, we can do. We will find a way that if you want to do personal training, uh, we will be able to make it work. Let's talk about the outside sessions that are going on, because that was an eye catcher before the gym reopened officially even. And, and tell us, what, what have you learned from that experience? Well, we learned that people actually really, really welcome it. They have a really good time. Right now, the weather is actually turning nice, and it's not as hot every single day. So especially in the mornings, we've had really good responses from people. Um, they really enjoy working out outside. We have a pod out there with all sorts of equipment. Uh, so anything that we can do inside, we can do outside. Yeah, I think that people are really enjoying just being able to interact with other members. Again, even if they're not comfortable coming inside, they're being able to socialize again. And that's such a huge aspect of our club is the community aspect of it. So we're, we're really loving seeing members coming back and, and really not physically embracing each other, but you know, giving virtual high fives and hey, how are you? So happy to see you. And just really getting back to that aspect of the, the club. I would think that the two of you, as much as anyone, given your titles and what you really represent, after all, the place is called Club La Maison, it really is kind of a, a club feel here. Just from your own perspective, talk about that a little bit. Yeah, I mean, so we've been open for a very long time, I believe since the mid 80s. And so we have people that have been here since the very beginning. and. Those people welcome in new members and old members and everyone just has a really nice, it has a really nice feel here. Everyone seems very friendly. It's almost like a family atmosphere. So we kind of thrive off that. That's kind of what we're known for. Um, so yeah, absolutely. It's, it is like a club. Everyone here really gets along and it, it's what we're known for. Jackie, I know you have a lot of personal connections, not only as an instructor, but as an ambassador. What would you tell someone who hasn't been back yet about what it's like now? Yeah, so um, a lot of people that have been coming back have been really surprised to see at how much we've done to update the club and then also how much space and room there is. I think a lot of people might have had in their heads that it was just going to be a crazy madhouse here, um, which isn't the case at all. You know, there's definitely room for you if you're not super excited about being close to people. Um, there's definitely room here that you can still utilize the equip and, and utilize the equipment, um, but also kind of keep your distance from everybody. I mean, we have so many, so much space here that it's it's very easy to to get a great workout in here, and I. I tell people I feel a lot safer here than the grocery store, so. How do you manage to do that in a spin class? So the spin classes um, are pretty cool because we make sure that we actually move the bikes from the spin studio into the main group's ex Group X studio, so it is a bigger space. We've taken out some of the bikes, and all the bikes are six feet apart from each other. Um, so we have the members wear their masks when they come in. And during the warm up, some of them really power through and keep the masks on the whole time. Um, but when you do start to breathe and breathe heavy, you can take your masks off. And everybody seems pretty okay with that and, and are very respectful of each other. Thanks, guys. We're going to move on now. Jackie, though, we'll speak with you again before the next spin class. 
Let's welcome Sally, Courtney, and Julianne Clifton now. They're all members. Hey, how long have you guys been members here? And we'll start with you, Sally. Well, I can't remember it's been that long, so. <laughs> <laughs> At least 15 years, I think, I've been coming. Were you doing classes all along, Sally? I've been doing body pump and body combat, typically. That's what I do while I'm here. And lately, with the new outside classes, I've started to do grit. When did you bring your two daughters into the club? Uh, probably the year after I joined, so they've probably been here 14 years altogether. Courtney, do you like the classes here at the Club La Maison, and is that your favorite form of fitness right now? I do. The classes, you know, it motivates you to keep going. You wouldn't, sometimes when you're on your own, you, you don't go as hard. You don't, you don't push yourself as hard. When you're in the class and you have an instructor, that's when you get the most, most out of a workout. Julianne, when you got the notice that there was going to be virtual classes, were you excited and happy about that? Yeah, we were very excited. I had been trying to do some classes for my mom on our own, and it, just, it was not the same. So it's definitely great to have Kate Short. She's the combat teacher. She's awesome. So she reached out to us and said, come do the virtual classes. Sally, do you do these virtual classes as a family all together when you're home? We did. We would empty out the kitchen, put, put it on the big TV, and be working out and sweating all over the kitchen floor. <laughs> So I'm guessing you were pretty excited when they came up with the idea for the outside classes. Oh, it was so awesome. There, it, even though we were doing it on TV, to be honest, you can tilt the camera away and kind of stop if you need to, but when you're here in person, you have to do the full thing. Courtney, I'll bet it gets a lot of attention from people just driving by, right? It does. We, we get lots of videos, honks, waves, uh, good job, keep going, lots of those, yeah. What's the next step? Does this open a door to some new and innovative ways to stay in shape? I think so. I would love to continue the outdoor classes, especially in the summertime. I mean, it's great to be outside and get the fresh air, even though sometimes it's really hot. It's, it's great to be outside in, in the warm weather. Yeah, I completely agree. I like to get outside as much as I can, but it's really hard with just life, as everyone I'm sure can relate to. So working out outside is awesome. Last word to you, Sally, on behalf of families and moms who may not have been back yet and are still concerned, what would you tell them about things right now? I would tell them I feel completely 100% safe outside. When we get our equipment, we wear a mask, we wash it all down when we're done. It's, we're six feet apart, lots of space. It's, it's, really, it's been such a great new concept. Thank you all for joining us, and we hope to see all of you at the club for many, many days ahead. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. One of the classes that is back inside is the spin class. Now let's meet Kelsey Brule and Jackie Mitchell again, the CLM ambassador. It's nice to see both of you. And this is the spin class that's been kind of redone. Kelsey, you're a member here, and you've been here for a long time, right? Pretty much all my life, but... I only started paying about two years ago. <laughs> Kelsey, what was it like for you? Because I know you were one of Jackie's regular students in the spin class beforehand. What was it like for you in all the weeks when you weren't able to get together and get here? It was so hard. I have very little motivation to work out by myself at home. So it's really nice to get back into a group setting where you have the collective here and I can sit in the front where somebody is yelling at me. I require a lot of discipline. Jackie, is, is that true? Are there some people like her that really like that discipline and that group dynamic? I will say that is true. Um, Kelsey's being a little bit modest. She's, <laughs> she's one that gets up there and works hard, but uh, there are definitely a lot of people that are coming back and really are very excited to be back just to have that group atmosphere and that energy and also just, yeah, having somebody to kind of push them outside of their comfort zone a little bit, whereas at home they might not have that. Kelsey, are there any of your friends who maybe have not been back yet? And what would you tell them if they're thinking about coming back? There's some people in class that I've noticed haven't been back, and they were regulars too, so I was surprised. Um, what I would say is I feel totally comfortable here, more than most places, actually. Kelsey, the club is paying special attention, as you know, to safety and cleanliness of the space, but what can you tell us about all that? That's right. So they moved us all into a bigger room where they, we can space the bikes out. They, uh, they spray down the bikes before, after, all classes. Uh, 
I felt totally comfortable here this entire time. Everybody's very respectful of wearing their masks. So overall, it's just been a great experience to come back to. And I guess you're looking forward to more and more classes coming back as well. That's right. I'm looking forward to more and more people coming back because when they do, more classes will be added. It's already starting to happen. Uh, I get excited when I see a new one has been added. That means to me that more people are coming back and interested in getting back into group exercise. All right, then, Kelsey and Jackie, you two have some work to do in about three minutes. So thanks very much and get to it. Have a good workout. Thank you. Let's meet Lisa now. She's a longtime member. Welcome to the show. You're a regular here, right, Lisa? Is this a regular part of your day? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I've been, I was here about five times a week. So when the pandemic hit, what did you do? How did you manage? Um, I missed it a whole lot. I found some Zoom classes and a lot of online things. And um, I, was the f I was here the first day they reopened because the weight room was a big part of my routine and that I could not do at home. Oh, so you're a weightlifter, a user of the weight machines as well. Um, yeah, it was just about last summer I discovered the benefits of using the, the weight machines, and um, there are real benefits, so I did miss that part of my routine. When you came back, did you come back with any trepidation, any nervousness about safety? Not really. I was curious. I did read the emails, and I knew what, what I was prepared for. Um, I was just concerned that there would be too many people here, and that was not the case at all. Um, I found that, that the safety measures are, are very adequate for sure. So you're the first member that we've talked to who is a real regular in the weight room. What kind of safety precautions is the club using there? Well, first of all, we're asked to wipe down the equipment after each use. What I'm finding is a lot of people are actually overly cautious and they're wiping the equipment down before and after they use it. So that equipment's never been cleaner. <laughs> And also, as we've always noted, the excellent cleaning crew here is always on top of things. Uh, yes, and it's nice to see familiar faces, and they recognize me now, so. <laughs> it really is a club here. It's called Club La Maison. I'm sure you've made many friends here. What would you tell them? Well, I would say that everything I've always loved about this club is the same, except I do miss the members. And um, y'all come on back, because exercise is really good for lifting your spirits. Thank you, Lisa. I hope that helped any of you who still have some questions about coming back to Club La Maison. For my part, I can tell you I've been back since the very day the doors have been reopened and I'm very, very comfortable and happy to be back and I feel very safe and secure. But even after listening to this, if you still have any questions, any doubts at all, I can tell you one thing about the staff here. They've been really well trained to answer your questions and put your mind at ease. If you have any doubts, just come in one day talk to some people, and take a walk around. And I hope to welcome you back to Club La Maison soon.